these motherfuckers is from the USA. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. wait. Let's get back to the, the questions in here. Let's see. Oh, this is a good one. What's your favorite movie of all time? Casino. Uh, number one. Because I'm Sharon Stone, okay? I'm Ginger. Just without the drugs and the pimp. I'm, I'm a hoe, but I don't do the drugs and have the pimp. So. Let's see. Why can't we see you? Because I think better when I'm not staring at myself. You know what I mean? When I do lives, I, like, don't even fucking answer questions, like, correctly. I wanted this to be intimate questions. What's the best pickup line you ever heard? Um, how much is your how much how much is your bills for the month? I want to pay them. That is the best. Listen, you grab my attention, baby. You grab my motherfucking attention. Period. I mean, that's that's what I like. Okay, that's what I, that's what I like. That's the only one I like. I don't like nothing else. You better come with it with me. Why is everybody weird on social media? Uh, I, you know what? I can tell you this. I used to work in hospitality back in the day. And I was like super outgoing and like whatever. And then I started modeling and doing all this internet shit. And I'm fucking weird. I am weird. I'm weird as fuck. I don't really like spending time with people in real life too much. Like I get irritated really quickly. Um, you know, shit like that. Because social media has became my life. I have like several incomes online. So I'm constantly online all day. I don't have to interact with nobody. So yes, we're fucking weird. The majority of us, we're fucking weird. 100%. Because we're isolated. We're weird. I'd rather spend time on myself, to be honest. What's my favorite late night snack? Um, I don't know. I like, right now, I like these chocolate covered strawberries. Um, They're frozen. They're yummy. Let's see. Okay, what would be the perfect day for me? I've already had the perfect day, but it was with a pimp. But <laughs> uh, pick me up from the airport first class in the Maybach, okay? Drop top Rolls Royce on the Vegas Strip and couples massages and then go to Ruth Chris. I've already done it, baby. Too bad uh, that motherfucker <laughs> was a pimp, though. Um, no, I didn't choose that, but I don't pay pimps. But you ain't got to do all that. You got to be cute. And, you know. Will I respond for DM? Yeah, it depends. Okay, I am super busy and I have like a gazillion DMs, guys. My little fingers be numb and shit. Go on my OnlyFans. I answer all messages on OnlyFans. It's a good chance you're not going to get a DM back from me if it's not about promotion on Instagram. Promotion or my coaching. How long has it taken to get to where you are today? Shit, my whole motherfucking life, girl. I've been fighting since I motherfucking came out the womb. Period. So, the odds were not for me, for the most part. Like other regular, you know, white motherfuckers, I, I got the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> okay, like the majority of my family's trailer trash or whatever. You know, good thing I grew up in the hood. It wasn't a motherfucking trailer. Um, but shit, my whole motherfucking life. That's why I can't date square dudes who never been through shit. You know, like, like these white men come at me and then I've been through so much shit. Like, you know, dodger motherfuckers who have guns at me. All type of shit. I don't even want to talk about it. Police, dodger police, whatever. And then they're like, oh, I went to fucking Harvard or what. I can't. We ain't got nothing in common at all. You know, like I, I went on a date with this one white man, right? And I was like, what's the worst thing that has ever happened to you? And he's like, somebody like robbed me. <laughs> I said, me and this motherfucker ain't getting along. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see what else you got. What do I want for my birthday? I want to have good friends at my house. And I don't know, just have a good time. And enjoy my motherfucking house that I paid for. That's what I want. Worst sex story. Oh, my God. Let's see. Um, God, there's so many. There's one guy. He had paid me. And then um, I put the condom on and he came. It it was just... I I mean, maybe that was the best sex story because I got paid and he went away. Um, (laughs) 
<laughs> Are we talking paid sex or regular? I don't know. There's been a whole bunch. There's just, there's just so many. I have there's just, I need to write a book of sex because it's long. Let's see. If you could give someone one bit of advice about the industry, OnlyFans, what would it be? Um, take my motherfucking workshop. That's what the fuck you're going to do. So you can get all the tools you need. Every bitch that walks away from me does way better. I have one bitch last week. She was at 20000 Now she's at thirty one because of me. Okay? 10000 in a week because of me. So it's all about strategy. It's all about what I do. I am the queen of this shit. So that's what you do. You hit me up, you buy my workshop, we talk about it. Mm-mm. Favorite Katy Perry song, none. I don't really, I don't listen to her like that. It's weird. I love your OnlyFans. I'm the guy from Crenshaw. Well, which one? I used to get on Crenshaw as on fucking Friday, Saturday nights, 3 a.m. And we would all, they would be, have the, the car clubs and be doing the donuts after the club club because we was too young to like get in the actual club. We would go to Crenshaw. It was lit. I used, I used to get hella numbers out there. I was the only white bitch out there. And then I used to get hella numbers. Those were the days. I guess st- psh, Crenshaw still probably be cracking. Let's see. I'm a single guy in the construction field and I'm looking to meet a model because I want to be, how come I can't read the rest of this? I want to be able to have a relationship with the girl. Like you, Your thing's too long. I can't read it. So I can't, I don't know. Make them, sh- you can't make them that long. Can we make the OnlyFans free for a day? Hell motherfucking no. I might make a backup that's going to be a free OnlyFans, but then it's going to be like Instagram, and then I'm going to do paid messages. Ha! Ah, maybe. But it takes so much time to do with the OnlyFans I have now. Um, Let's see. This is a really personal, weird question, but I'm super open about shit. How do you manage your periods? I'm on Depo Vera the shot, so I do not get a period. I'm the best type of bitch because there's no way we can't fuck all 30 days because I don't get a period at all. Ha ha. <laughs> uh, Okay, this is what I think will combat racism in the world. Are you understanding? Diversity. I grew up in an all-black neighborhood, so I am not racist. Because I grew up, I was only white. I was the minority. I was a white motherfucker. I was the white bitch. I, I was the blonde white bitch, period, in my high school and every other fucking school. So they accepted me for who the fuck I was. So you just got to mix it up. You know, I would, I didn't think, oh my God, I'm the, the only white person. That never came across my mind. Nobody ever really put me out like that. But white people do that to black people. That's the fucked up part. Because there's, 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 you know, it's deep behind that. It's a lot of history behind that. There ain't no history of, of black people doing anything to uh, white people. You know, you know how uh, the only time I felt weird is in uh, history class when we talk about slavery. And I'm like, damn, these white motherfuckers is fucked up. And I didn't even think about me being a white <laughs> but it was it was it was, it was it, i wouldn't change it for the world to be honest and i don't want to be like them white motherfuckers anyways my family they're awful they're awful awful trailer trash disgusting people who say awful things but they live in basements and shit and trailers so man diversity that'll combat it everybody mix it up Which girl shakes it, her booty the best out of everyone you've seen? Me. Who who else but me? It's natural. There's not a lot of natural bitches out here anymore. It's disgusting. Okay, listen, this is not going to work. Shit, I, how much I'm trying to fuck what's up? I'm in Houston. Hitman Sosa, did you win the lottery yesterday? Did you win the lottery ever? Guess what? You just hitting bitches up saying, I'm trying to fuck is not going to work. I've had motherfuckers worth $100 million in my DM. Why the fuck would I be with you? 
Tell me what's going to excite me other than you being a multi motherfucking millionaire, which I can tell by your avi or not. So why the fuck would I want you? That don't turn me on. You with nobody. That's not going to turn me on. It's got to be big cash. Even regular motherfuckers got to pay more than the famous motherfuckers. How about that? I got to I got to you got to compensate another. But that don't work. Stop doing that to bitches. We don't want. This is funny. How do you rate your head game? Shit, a six. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy bitch. <laughs> ah! Ah! I'm lazy. Ooh, I've been told this before, guys. I know my voice is hot. What did I want to be before I was a model? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I never really had. Listen, I didn't come from a family where they told me what you're supposed to do, what you're going to do. I had no direction whatsoever. You know what I mean? My mom just said, don't get married, don't have kids. So, you know, it is what it is. Other than that, motherfucker said, get a job. I don't. Nothing. Me. I wanted to be Jenna. That's what the fuck I wanted to be. Listen, these these children, look at this. Do you want to have a boy who is 17 years old? I don't like children. I don't like anybody under the age of 25. I'm not fucking with nobody under 25 anyway. So I don't know why you're on my page trying to catch a predator and shit. This ain't Chris Hansen. Listen, look, have you ever fucked with Mexicans? Of course. I'm from L.A. 50% of California is is Mexican. I mean, I'm going to say Hispanic. It's 50% Mexican. Everybody knows that shit. How do I get a fan page and get paid? First of all, Spencer, you a man. It's hard out here for men. I don't even accept men to do my workshop. I've only, I've only done my workshop on two men. And let me tell you what, you can make some money, but it ain't, it ain't touching what bitches can make. My highest earner makes $55,000 a month under me. Men, I'm sorry. Y'all are just, you guys just fuck anything anywhere anyways. And I, you, you, listen, it's not going to happen. I don't think men, unless you're Jimmy Sachs and you fucking a whole bunch of. Does age matter? Yes, I don't like anybody under 25. This is the uh, scariest moment of my life. Shit, every day is scary. What you mean? Every day is scary. Why did I choose to be an Instagram model? I didn't choose this shit. I capitalized off of my shape a long time ago. I knew, listen, I told y'all, I'm from Inglewood. I'm the only white bitch and I'm thick. So everybody said I'm different. And so I'm smart and I capitalized off of it. Is it possible that two women and a man could truly work? Listen, there is stuff that could work for other people like Polly and, you know, you... Some bitches are, you know what? I might even, if a man has enough money, I'm, I might even be cool with him having another bitch. As long as he's paying my fucking bills and taking care of the kids or whatever the fuck he's doing, he, that's man enough for me. And I know the bitch and everybody's happy. It's cool. I don't like bitches. So I'm not fucking no bitches. But, you know, I'm even into two guys. Can I have two husbands? How about this? I want several husbands. Listen, hear me out. Maybe like I could speak this into the universe. Seven husbands. They all work, okay, double shift, whatever their job is, and they have to give me their checks. So then I spread, I keep the money, and I give them all allowances. So everybody gets a night with me. But they're going to be so tired from doing those double shifts to get my money. So basically, it's kind of going to be like slaves, <laughs> but husbands. But then they get the fuck once a week, and they give me all their money. I'm down for that. 
So maybe that'll happen for me. Guys, send in your applications to be one of my several husbands. Would you date a poor guy? Unfortunately, I have, but it really, um, it wears off that if they're fine as fuck and they're poor, like, I only fuck, like, uh, twice, and then I start, I mean, you guys, if you follow me for a long time, you know that I talk a lot of shit, okay? Like, I can't contain it. I have to be myself. So I'll say stuff like, you know, we could be around the house, and I'm like, (laughs) you gonna pay for that? (laughs) You gonna clean that up? (laughs) You gonna get a job? I mean, every morning or whatever, I'm gonna fuck with you and and just, like, really grind into you some fuck shit, you know what I'm saying, about being poor. It's not gonna work. I won't respect you. And every time we fight, you broke motherfucker. I mean, it's just going to go bad. It's going to be bad for him. It's going to make me angry. At least I could be, um, you know, uh, 100 about it. Here's the story, guys. Listen to this. Okay. You guys going to be, is your, this is how I am, though. You're going to laugh. So this, this fine guy on Instagram hit me up, right? He, w- he was like a Czechoslovakian. He was an Armani model, right? And I was like, okay. So he took me on a date. We went to Jones's on uh, Santa Monica Boulevard, and it's really loud. They have a, a live band there, so like we're kind of like yelling at each other at the table, to, so I can hear him. And he got an accent too because he's Czechoslovakian. So you know, I did the Google search. His little Armani stuff checked out. He got a Wikipedia. Okay, cool, and he's verified. So then he's like, "Yeah, I went to a party. I kissed this guy." I said, "What?" You went to a party and kissed a guy, right? So that red flag, guys. No, I'm not gay. I just kissed guy at party. The gay, okay? That's little. So then I went home and then I Googled his name and I put gay just to see. Why did a gay porno come up? And then so I had I had hit him up and I said, have you ever done gay porn? He goes, no. He's like, what are you talking about? And I screenshot it because I looked at the video. It was him. I verified the face. I didn't watch it. But I sent it to the homies and they said he's a bottom. Anyways, so... <laughs> He, oh, you think I'm gay because I did one porn like 10 years ago? Yeah, I do. Okay? Because, listen, and this is why I'm telling you this story. Because when we get into a fight, oh, hey, babe, I go hang out with friends at party. Oh, you're going to go fuck them like you did the dude in the pornos? Hey, babe, I go take the trash out. Are you going to go suck a dick while you're back there? See, my mouth, I can't control it. So I like to avoid situations that are going to make me angry. You have to chase after dudes because they fuck on other hoes. And then I got to chase you because you fuck on dudes too? It's too much. That, that's like putting way too much pressure on yourself. You know, you're going to drive yourself crazy. I'm jealous as fuck. I'm going to be, you can't have friends, you know, and then I'm, I'm going to talk down on you. It's going to be bad. So basically, I, you know, I, I can't control how I feel. So I try to avoid shit because I'm going to cuss you the fuck out. So let's just keep the cussing and like, like it could be little petty shit. But if it's some big shit, it's going to hurt your feelings. So let's see what you guys got. New questions. Oh, my God. Yes. Where are where do you stay at? We could use my my boobs. I am super down. I love your videos, by the way. They're fucking lit. Like you do in my other boy, Hyphonics. I don't know if you know. Um, uh, he's a YouTuber and he uses Omega all the time. You should definitely look it up. But he doesn't as do it do it as good as you. You really kill it. I mean, you get them motherfuckers jerking their dicks, <laughs> and it's just lit. So yes, DM me. Uh, we gotta we gotta meet up. Maybe like um, if we you know we could just be together and I'll sit there with my face out too. Hey baby, you know, and then have you come in and do some funny shit. Um, yeah, DM me. That'll be dope. Everybody follow him. He has the best fucking... He just pranks these dudes. And these dudes be so damn thirsty trying to jerk their mate for free. Okay. Do you be spurring the camels all the time? Girl, no. That be hurting my pussy. <laughs> I only do it for the internet. I But sometimes, like, you know, I'm a thick girl, so sometimes it's just... It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, it's just out... Four inches are enough. I don't think so. I think six, four inches are enough. What's that about? Why do you guys ask me ask all these precise questions? He must got a four inch dick, whoever the fuck that is. How can I have a threesome with you and Nicolette Shea? Number one, uh, uh, Nicolette Shea is a porn star. Uh, uh, you guys always mix me up with her because we both Shea, but I'm really Shea, Jenna Shea Cosgrove, period. 
Um, do you like gang members and who has a lot of money? I'm a gang member with the bloods. Listen, I never fucked. A, well, you know, I can't even lie. I probably fucked some bloods, but I've never dated a blood. I've only dated Crips. So I, I'm from a blood neighborhood. Angle with families, but I never, I never fucked with them because they all seem poor to me. Um, Crips have more money and they're more organized and shit. But I'm not opposed to it. Shit. Show me, show me what. What's good? Oh, hey, everybody. Get ready. I'm rock hard. Can you help me out? Who's the fuck is jerking their dick in the chat? Why are you, jerk, why are you jerking your dick in my chat? We is ha- trying to have a civilized conversation. And here you go. Talk about I'm rock hard. Dan Jackson. Look at your avi. You need to be ashamed of yourself. Stop playing. You know, sex workers have feelings, too, and they're people, right? You know, your mom, your mama was a hoe. She had your stupid ass. You know, she got feelings too, right? She opened up the pussy and had you. So I want you to remember that when you bother bitches. Okay. Cause your mom's a bitch too and had your punk ass. Okay. She had to open up that pussy for somebody's dick. Okay. Probably your daddy. You don't know. So just remember that when you, uh, approach bitches. Will I do anything for my number one fan? Bitch, I don't have a number one fan. I don't know who they are. You know, my fans uh, rotate. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. When can we make a movie? Bitch, never. Never. We can never make a movie. Why would I make a movie with you? Who the fuck is you? You, uh, They're going to be like, and who's this? Ooh, what type of men do I like? Ones with jobs and with money and got good teeth and got good dick. And that's it. I'm not even going to be specific anymore on features because, you know, I could be passing up my fat dude who treats me good, who don't look that great. And he treats me like a fucking princess. I'll take that motherfucker right now. Okay, as long as he's funny, I can't do no dry ass conversation ass or who thinks I'm ghetto. None of that shit. Okay. So I'm not going to say what they should look like, you know, no stuck up white motherfuckers. That's the only type I don't get along with. Don't spam my fucking questions. Let's see. Okay, finally, a good question. Let's see. Would you still be with your man, even though he is still in contact with his ex that he was with for two years? Um, I'm jealous as fuck. But let me tell you this. Um, my best friend is a male, you know, one of my best friends are a male and his wife is okay with me being friends with him, but I've been friends with him for 15 years. So that's different, but it's just, I don't care. Ooh, good question. Would you date a bi guy? Fuck no. Why don't you tell me you like the dick too? It's a wrap. Um, I just, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not for me. As I said, I don't want to deal with you trying to fuck on dudes and bitches. That's not fair. That doesn't sound hot. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Are you assuming I'm an atheist? No, I'm not an atheist. Uh, just because I shake my ass online doesn't mean I'm an atheist. Oh, my. Have I ever been arrested? No. You know what? I was talking about this earlier on Facebook with some people because somebody said that white privilege doesn't exist. And here I come with the facts. I said it absolutely does. And I'm a double whammy because I'm female and I'm not even going to say attractive. I'm going to say somewhat attractive. Okay. I'm not going to even pump myself up like that. But that has gotten me out of a lot of situations with police. When I was doing illegal shit, I ain't going to tell you what the fuck I was doing, but it could have got me 10 years plus some of the shit that I had in my fucking car or whatever. And I got let go and the police got my number. OK, so, yeah, but if I was a black male, it would have went all the way left and I would have got locked the fuck up. So absolutely. Absolutely. I've been very close to being arrested probably like four or five times and it never happened. Thank the Lord. But I don't do illegal shit no more. So that's what that is. Okay, but I skated through all that shit. I really did. I skated the fuck through all that shit. 
<laughs> grace of motherfucking God. God, for real. And my motherfucking privilege. I mean, that's just what it what it comes down to. Would I ever do foot porn? What you mean, like jerk off some dicks with my feet? I'm not. I, what? I don't know. That's some weird shit. I don't. If you could massage my feet, but my feet get tired or something when I try to do that shit. Look at this dummy. Do you have only fans? Is a pig's pussy pork? Is a pig's pussy pork? Chat motherfucking bio. Stupid. It's like you gotta men just be oblivious to the real the the shit. I have a TikTok. It's me, Jenna Shay. <clears throat> I don't really use it though. I got some views, but I don't use it. Best and worst date experiences. I already told y'all my favorite date that I've had with a pimp. My worst date, God, there's so many. Like you could just go with it somewhere and then you just hate that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll sit down, have dinner, and you just hate that motherfucker. Or they're cheap or something. Like, ugh. Or you show up and they ain't, they don't look like their pictures. That's why you try to do um FaceTimes and stuff before you go on a date. I it's been a long time since I've been on a date though, so. Biggest regret. Why you guys ask me some deep ass questions? I don't fucking know. How about not selling? pussy the day i turned 18 years old that's when i said started sh- to sh- that's when i should have started selling pussy as 18 that's my biggest regret right there you could write it down you could screen capture it why do y'all ask me this how do i become a porn star i don't fucking know bitch go figure it out i mean go you know what i'm i know i don't know i don't know i don't know man Would I date a bi girl? I don't like bitches. I don't like pussy. I think it's nasty. There's nothing down there. It's like, a, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing down there. I like dick. Fuck that. Celebrity cl- crush is Jeremy Meeks. That's my celebrity crush. I will, he, I will give him some free pussy now, right now. Okay. When am I going back to prison to visit home? First of all, I've never been to prison, you stupid bitch. <laughs> And I swear to God, if I went to prison, listen to me. Are you guys listening? If I went to prison, and I, let's I, even let's just say I did something horrific. Let's say I I killed some babies. Let's say I killed babies and I ate them. Okay, I'm being dead serious. Motherfuckers would still give me money on my books. Okay, dudes like weird bitches and crazy hoes. They would marry me for conjugal visits. Okay, oh, listen, all them bitches that kill their kids is getting hella money right now on their fucking books. I'm not worried. The weirder the fucking shit I do, the more money I'm going to get from some fucking weirdos who want to marry a bitch because they think it's hot. They might hate kids, too. I don't fucking know. They, they'll be into it because a bitch looks good. Okay, and I'll be getting all type of messages. I will do like a dating, a speed dating in prison. I'll let everyone come visit me on Friday and Sunday. For my 30 minutes and rotate them motherfuckers until I find my husband. Whoever puts the most money on my books is my husband. Period. That's it. That'll be the, that's it. So I'm, I'm not scared. Put me in prison. Free medical. Uh, uh, I'll get dick for my conjugals. Okay. And I'll get money on my books. Tell me, tell, and a free funeral. Are you kidding? Send me. Thanks. Send me. Look at this stupid. Are you guys looking what people are asking me? If you have a son, will you be incest with him? First of all, (laughs) y'all need help. No fucking kids, number one. Number two, if you think like this, you need some serious help, dude. You don't even, like, if you have a son, will you be incest? Be incest? You can't even speak right. You got to be from another country. Okay. Here, here's a good question. So, can black people be racist? No, they cannot. Do you know why? They can be prejudiced, but they can't be racist. Because what happens is the superior, aka race, who has the upper hand can be racist. Look up what racism means. They don't have the the power to be racist. Period. It's called prejudice. You could be anybody can be prejudiced. White people can be racist though. That's 100%. Nope, look it up. Look up racism. Look up racism. 